What's good? What's happening? What's good? What's cracking? It's your boy Natty back another video channel, guys. Hope you guys doing good because I am great, guys. I'm really excited for today's video. Uh, it's the first time doing a little bit of different content to the car GTI stuff, just to diversify my channel, have it more fun, you know, with the channel. And yeah, so basically, uh, we're here in Rosebank right now to go watch the new. Well, it's not new right now, but the the just released ish Gran Turismo movie. Because if you guys don't know about the movie, it's about a racing driver. Who started from gaming and uh, won, you know, online competition, nice racing real cars, and obviously because it's racing inspired, and I, I'm a racing driver myself, I was like, this is like the movie I have to watch. So we here in Rosebank to watch it, but we have a little bit of fun with it. We're gonna come to be here in the uh, Rosebank more, but we're gonna wear our race suits. All right, I'm gonna get people's reactions see because we're, and I'm here with my homie Real Baka Komane. He also races, um, not with me, but uh, if you guys know, I used to race Polo Cup. Uh, and here is Polo Cup. So Riabaka, say what's up to the camp. Hey, what's up, yo? What's up? What's up? Yes, what's yeah. Up? So me and him are going to watch the new Grand Turismo movie because we know we're both racing drivers, and I feel like yeah, it's just a movie we just have to watch, and we have a bit of fun with it by rocking our suits. So let's get changed and let's go see what people, how people look at us. If you haven't already, guys, please make sure to stop the video, go down below, go subscribe, turn on notification, yo, turn on the notification bell on, so you guys don't miss an upload. And yeah, let's get changed and. Let's go see what people think. Change in three, two, one. Yo, change in three, two, one. You're in the gear. Can you guys hear me? Uh, we're wearing our race stuff. Check. Ah, uh, no. What? Don't remember the name of What's this? What's this? New commission. To do what? Yes. To, to Camera do is not allowed. What? Camera is not allowed. Camera is not allowed. You're not allowed to wait. I've seen people record all the time. Rosebank. Yeah, it's Zoom. Huh? It's Zoom. Yeah, but you could have went to that side there. Outside? Yeah. We're just parking on here. On the street, no? Yeah, on the street. We're just parking here, but we're in the street. <laughs> They're really telling us no, guys. They're telling us no. You ready? Huh? You ready? How are you? I'm good, man. No, we are not allowed to use the camera unless if you come to the center millimeter first and you talk to them. So now cameras? here you are not supposed to use the camera. Oh, so we can't use it here? Sorry? We can't use it here? Yes, you can't. Oh. It, it, just around the mall. All the mall of the zone. Yeah, but we're on the streets. We're the streets. We just parked here. Yeah, yeah, on the street, but as long as we are around the zone, they don't allow the camera. Because unless if you, you go to the center management and talk to them first. The center oh. management is that easy. Management said, guys, we can't record in the mall. Thank you for information. They said no cameras, but no phones. So you're using the phone right now. So yeah, guys, we're watching the Gran Turismo movie. Only of us can hear me, but we'll try. How are you? Okay, let me guess. Two movie tickets, please. Oh, uh, for Netflix. What movie is it? Gran Turismo. Of course. <laughs> you guys look good. Nah, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Do you guys come on bikes? Are you serious right now, bro? Huh? Do you guys come on? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Oh, you look so cool. You should take two days in Turkey. Okay. Look at my receipt, but place it in my helmet. Why is it there? Why is it sitting there? I don't have I don't have hands. I put it in my helmet. You put this, it. this guy with the receipt. I still don't understand this. I one. don't have anywhere to put it. But guys, we need to move it now. Uh, we're not allowed to record obviously because like you know uh, movie rules. We're not gonna put it inside. So I'll catch you guys in the afternoon. A few moments later. Uh, I don't know if you can hear me, but I just watched the Grand Turismo movie. I think in terms of movies and accuracy, like a 9, what do you think, Bugs? 9.5 out of 10? No, I'd give it like an 8. Uh, I, 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 I say 9, I say 9, like 9. But we'll talk about it more. We're just gonna go get some food and yeah, we'll talk about it at home. But yeah, great movie. Oh, 
Nah, it's tiring having a helmet on the whole time, not gonna lie to you. I'm boiling, dude. Boiling, boiling. Ain't never content though. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna head back to my place and we'll talk about the movie because there were some interesting things that we saw in there. Like, hey, some things I don't know if you guys would notice, but I saw from a mile away. We are back from watching uh, Gran Turismo at the cinemas with my friend Baxi. So shout out to my homie Baxi, the racing driver, pulling through with me and having a little fun. Watch with someone that races, so we've both, you know, been through that same thing. But like I said, I give that movie like a 9 out of 10. Uh, just because there were so many elements, you know, that make that, have, that were shown in the, in the movie. That kind of, kind of show the difficulties that racing drivers go through and the emotions, you know. That I feel like a lot of people don't know or kind of take for granted when it comes to racing. There's a few, there's like two or three things that were well, like really made the movie like, like a bit off for me. One was the last part of the movie, the race was at Le Mans, but literally from just inspection, I could tell that like seventy percent of that of that Le Mans race was was uh, using Hungara ring corners. I don't understand why. Like a lot of the aerial views of the track and stuff and was all Hungaro uh, ring corners. I don't understand why. Second thing was the car, the jumping from like, you know, sim to car to race car to other race car. It's like so drastic. Like, you know, you can't not, <laughs> literally most drivers don't jump, don't have big jumps like that. So I guess it's a movie, so you kind of have to speed things up. And for me, I think for me, they just didn't show enough like driver, driver point of view, you know, like helmet wise, some very funny angles around there, but for me, like the main storyline was really, really there and it really touched my soul because I feel like on my channel, I don't show you guys the hard work that I put in off camera. Uh, you know, uh, if you look at the movie, uh, you know, there's things obviously like gym, you know, running on the track, you know, we you go to like those, those like, ev not events, but you, you do those um, uh, competitions or academies where it's like, you know, eight drivers, five drivers, ten drivers. Best one gets a drive, you know, and they and they test in everything. They test in on media skills. They test you on uh, on how consistent you are. They check on your fitness. They check on your eating. They check on your like your body fat com uh, composition. Like so many things, you know, to see who is the best fit for you know in their eyes in terms of that, you know, who learns the best, who listens the best, who who is able to to learn from notes. Because even me, still to this day, the days where I'll sit down either at home or with my team and we'll go over like. Not even data, but like notes. Like, you know, you'll go watch a video, you'll read an article about, you know, braking techniques or, you know, something like how does the, the brake pressure, uh, uh, um, how is brake pressure distributed when you're coming off the brake pedal? Uh, what other stuff, you know, like, you know, I don't know, just so many things, you know, about maybe different types of corners, you know, how to approach them, uh, stuff like that. And, you know, I don't really show that stuff because when I, I haven't, I feel like I haven't reached that level. Uh, uh, in my career in racing where I'm like a, well, not professional but I'm a, I am make a living off racing so I don't I'm still a student I'm doing YouTube racing doesn't pay in this country so for me I'm still grinding my butt off to get to that ultimate goal of you know racing in Le Mans an example like that and obviously I'm not with, I'm not with a Nissan I'm with Toyota so imagine racing with Toyota because they have a Le Mans team that will be like like dreams so I'm working really hard so when I'm doing all that work, I'm not filming it because like, I can't, I have to give 100% to my racing, you know? Uh, I have to give 100% when I'm driving, when I'm gymming, when I'm doing nodes, all that stuff. And sometimes it's like, I think YouTube is not too much work. It takes the one or two percent or 10 percent and I want to give my racing 100 percent. That's why I feel like I, I, I kind of avoid those questions. Uh, you know, you guys ask me, how do I get into racing? How do you do this? Because honestly, like I haven't made it, I haven't made it where I want to be. And I'm still figuring out a lot of things, you know, I'm still figuring out how to put CVs together, or how to get in contact with teams overseas, you know, how, you know, negotiating contracts, like, I'm still learning that stuff, you know, even sponsors, getting sponsors, because that's, like, that's how you race, you know, if you look at my Twitter team, it's sponsored uh, by, uh, I can't read this backwards, but, like, you know, OMP, we are sponsored by Dunlop, we are sponsored by uh, Kinto, which you guys can't see, uh, you know, we have, like, sponsors, that's the only way you can race, and, you know, being gang sponsors is one of the main things from from racing but yeah guys i feel like with with that movie it just showed the challenges that happen you know with, with teams and mechanics and your coach and sometimes self-doubt is a real thing you know bad performances in the movie he was coming he did well first race and then for like four races in a row he was coming last 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 crashing 
and you know as a racing driver obviously your aim is to like you know not be phased by the bike you know previous races but sometimes if it happens race one two and three it's sometimes really difficult to have a change in mindset and like start fresh and next race do like as if like uh, do perform and like nothing happened because if you guys saw my race on my channel i've had uh well not cape town the two races before cape town i already had really really bad weekends and you know it really hurt because because of those two issues we had i'm out of the championship you know so yeah i don't know that movie it really, it really really like almost it almost made me cry like i swear like you know like it really almost made me cry i like that so i really enjoy that movie and i highly recommend you guys do watch it so you guys have like i want to say a rough idea of like just the, like what race what it really takes to become a racing driver because a lot of people think you know, uh, it's 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 all nice and glam because I'm racing, but it's a lot of work behind it, and there's a lot of sacrifice that goes behind it because, you know, you travel a lot. You know, and I, personally, sometimes you travel alone. You know, it's just like almost like a, even with a team sport, it's almost like a, it's a one man sport if, at the same time. You know, because yes, you have the team, but it's all on you. You know, you travel, you have to make sure you're eating right, you're gymming right, you're doing this, and yeah, it's just yeah, that movie is just had so many emotions that I really, really enjoyed it, and I race for a Japanese brand, which is Toyota. And they have a very big uh, Toyota uh, motorsport presence in that region of like of like Asia, and even Europe. So if there's any Toyota people from uh, overseas watching, or even the ones from South Africa who have connects, you know where I wanna go. Next goal is overseas with Toyota. That will be amazing. But yeah, that movie really hit home because it kind of gives me hope. Even though obviously the movie is obviously a bit more glorified, but you know it's possible. You know if you work hard enough, you do well enough, you find the right people that believe in you. And you show the right skills when time comes. It's I, f I feel like it's possible for me to get there. I know it's not easy. It's kind of like sometimes a bit scary, you know. Also, like you know, like having such a big dream like that, you know, go from South Africa to be like an international racing driver. It's not like you know the easiest thing to do, and not a lot of people make it, which is a scary thing. But I'm just happy that I'm trying it and I'm pushing. And uh, you know, even though sometimes it feels like I'm not really, I'm not somewhere. If I look back, I have moved forward, which is obviously the same, which is the important thing. So, yeah, that movie really kind of just kind of reflected on my life. And I'm like, you know what, if I work hard enough, if I keep pushing, if I push harder, you know, do more gymming, do more notes, do more online sim racing. Because you guys know I've got a sim. I don't go, I don't start from sim, but this is what I used to practice when I'm not driving uh, in real life. You know, if I just keep pushing, if I keep pushing, if I keep trying to get more sponsors, if I keep, you know, doing this and this and that. Maybe, you know, who knows, one day could be next year, could be in two years' time, three years' time, who knows, I'll make my dream come true. Again, thanks to Baxi for uh, filming with me and having some fun with me. But yeah, guys, uh, that's going to conclude today's video. If you guys did, please make sure to show that support by subscribing, liking, commenting. Uh, with that, guys, it's a boy, Nancy, signing out. I know that my racing career didn't start here, too, but... Wouldn't it be something if it ended Toyota racing in Le Mans? The dream.